This is a tutorial on how to use a Tarja formulator. I selected this resource because it allows teachers or even students to create fun review puzzles. It contains Equation Editor, which, which allows us to build equations easily. Um, equation Editor it can be used for upper level math classes, and often this is incredibly hard to find um, free resources that contain upper level math symbols. The purpose of this technology is to create puzzles and other matching activities. Um, it also has dominoes and like matching and sorting card activities. Um, puzzles create a fun and engaging collaborative review activity. The targeted audience would be teachers or also I, it's user friendly and I believe students could use it as well. The formulator that I have downloaded comes from Hermitech Laboratories. Um, this is their home page and then I went under downloads and selected this formulator. Once it's downloaded it looks like this. Um, you can create puzzles in any of these shapes and it might depend on the number of questions you have because each of these contain a different number of questions. Um, while we're on this page I also wanted to point out that you can create um, domino type cards. Um, there are just different matching activities. There's just a ton of different things in here but for today I'm going to show you how to do a very simple Tarja puzzle. So I'm going to choose the triangle, and it gives me a spot to enter um, questions. So I'm going to put a couple of equations. Um, let's say we're working on solving systems of equations. So 5x minus y equals 5, and negative 4x plus 5y equals 17. And then down below, I'm going to enter the solution to that system of equations. And then this shows me over here on the side how many questions will go into this puzzle. Each one is different. Um, the triangle contains 18. I'm only going to put in a couple. Um, so here's question number two, or problem number two. Um, there's one equation, and then I'm going to have x plus 2y equals 2. And this one has no solution. Before I go on, as you're entering um, problems, and these didn't require anything special, but up here under presentation and under content are all kinds of math symbols. Here are some pretty basic ones. Um, you can do exponents, can do summations, integrals, uh, matrices. So I'm pretty excited that all of these are in here. And if I go under content, I also have trig functions, I have pi symbol, I have um, logs. So the options are endless as far as being able to incorporate upper level math problems just because you can easily access, um, have access to, to all the symbols that are needed. Okay, so once I get all 18 of these done, um, I have different options down here. I can see these in a table format or I could make flashcards out of them, I guess. Um, here's what it looks like once it's all filled out. This one isn't completely filled out, but here's what it would look like. This question, um, well, actually, this question went with this solution, and this question's answer is somewhere else, I think, down on another page. But that is what it would print off, um, that shape. And then I would have students cut these out um, into separate triangles, and then they'd have to work each problem and pair it up with its solution. When it's finished, it would make a triangle shape. And these puzzles um, form different shapes. So even if you do one, you can do another one with the same class of students and just choose a different shape. Um, I'm actually going to open, I have one with these exact problems that is finished. So here's what a completed version looks like. There it is with all the problems and the solution. So once they solve that and it has no solution, they have to pair it up. And if they are off on any of them, it just it doesn't come out right. And then here's what it looked like when I printed it. I had them print, um, I actually did do this one just about a week ago. It's the only one I've ever used. I was pretty excited about this resource. Um, I printed it off in colored paper and had them uh, tape it or glue it onto a big piece of white paper as they finished and they, my high school students had fun working with a partner and doing these problems. Um, and then also up here I can go back to all the other different options and so here were the domino cards. I'll just show you one of those. Let's say you have 12. You enter your problems and um, they print like flashcards and they can cut these apart and then they pair them together so the solution to this problem would go right here and then that gives you another problem in this solution and so there really are quite a few options I think with this and it, it's user-friendly I also could see assigning students um, 
a Tarja puzzle to create, letting them select the problems and enter them and, and put the solutions in. The technology standards addressed through this project are um, the Teacher 1C standard, which is to promote student reflection using collaborative tools to reveal and clarify students' conceptual understanding and thinking, planning, and creative processes. And the second one is the Student Standard 2D, which is to contribute to project teams to produce original works or to solve problems. 